Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. This is your double or nothing results from AEW. Their pay per view. Excalibur and Taz calling the buy in. That's your pre show. As per usual, a handful of wrestlers ringside. Earlier in the day, Tony Schiavone talks with Jake Roberts, who was watching Lance Archer bash the tire with a hammer. Tony asks Roberts if he's ready. Archer says he'll show him he'll show him tonight. Archer trashes his bath a bathroom. Robert says he's ready as Archer growls at the camera. Best friends for, for some private party. Winners of the match will become the new number one contenders for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. Quinn and Trent tie up. Quinn with a headlock. Standing shoot, uh, shooting, shooting press. Trent fires back with a Northern Lights suplex for two count. Quinn back up and gets shot down. Double back elbow and elbow drop by best friends. Double standing slide spread. Trent, uh, Trent losing loses his his headband. Commentary noting that maybe the first time that's happened to him in an AEW match. Cassidy with a chop. Trent drops him with a, with a chop of his own. At Isaiah Cassidy and at a sexy Chucky Cheek. Reading from the same playbook. Hashtag AEW on, on TNT. Hashtag the buy-in. <coughs> and can be found in this link. Post your, post your two links. There. <coughs> Headband is back on. Silly string, string attempt. Trent caught him. And with a weird landing. As he went from standing D to G. May have tweaked his D. Lost the headband again. Quinn put, puts, it, puts it on, on this time. Trent get, gets out to the floor. Cassie the tags in. Throws Trent into the barricade. Hits a spear on Cassie. Quinn with a flip over the top rope. Down on Trent. Quinn up top. Trent on Taylor's shoulder. Ascension oh, Avalanche. Su suplex. Covers for a two count. Big spear from at Trent and Knox, But at Mark underscore Quinn is there with a immediate answer. Hashtag AEW on TNT. Hashtag the buy in. And this thing for you. Taylor with an elbow drop. Cocky cover. One count. Crop chops in the corner. Taylor with a, with a slam. Covers for two count. Trent tags back in. Back elbow. Trying for a swinging DDT and ends up eating a drop kick. Cassie tags in. Taking Taylor over, over the apron. Penalty kick to Taylor. Knocks Trent away with it. Then hits Moonsault to the floor on Taylor. He climbs back on the apron. Hits a rough flat liner. Trent might be banged up. But up after having a couple of rough landings. Quinn with a double foot stomp to the back of the head. Covers for a two count. And uh, Isaiah Cassidy with all momentum. This link. Action. Side toe suplex on both Quinn and Cassidy. Then tags back by count. Taylor with an overhead release suplex on Cassidy into Quinn. Trent in. Eat defeat. Half half suplex combo. Best friends. Hug and finish things up. Quinn with a standing two star press, sending Trent's face down into Cassidy's knee. Private party hits the G line. Crime Times finisher. Quinn with a big, big shooting star press on Trent. Taylor breaks it up. Taylor hits the pile driver on the floor. Taking Quinn out. Cassidy runs over and eats a super kick. Back in the ring, Trent with a big lariat. Covers for two count. Trent selling a rib injury the whole match. He gets put on the top rope. Private party goes for the gin and juice. Taylor breaks it up. Trent nearly gets a three count. Cassie dropped to the floor. Strong zero hit on Quinn for the one, two, three. Best friends by pinfall are now the number one contender to the AEW World Tag Titles. Tony talks with Arn Anderson about tonight's AEW TNT Championship match between Lance Archer and Cody. Arn talks about all kinds of what ifs in tonight's match. Maybe Jake will DDT him. Maybe he'll DDT or give Jake a spine budget. Maybe Mike Tyson will knock out both, both of them out. Arn continues that Cody might be the underdog, but he has guts and, and tenacity. Uh, the ability to reach back and pull one out. Excalibur, Excalibur introduces JR and Tony Schwanny to the commentary, commentary table. It looks like they're ready for your pay-per-view action. Jordan Ellis says he wasn't even supposed to be, be on the card, but opportunity come knocking last night. Ellis says he got a call from Tony Khan. The general joining the match was a great choice because he loves ladder, he loves ladder match. Kip Sabian with Penelope forward and Jimmy Havoc. 
says ladder matches are in his blood, and everybody is probably wondering if Ford or Havoc will get involved. But he won't he won't say. Havoc says this match is about saving. Seamus says his opponents will suffer and he'll enjoy every single minute. Christopher Daniel says tonight is all about opportunity. He brings up how Sky and, and Kazarian had opportunities and came very close to winning their big matches, but they learned what will be need to win next time around. Daniel says, with tonight's match, a win for either of them is a win for SCU. Best friends explain to Orange Cassie how he wins by climbing the ladder. Then they will, they will be all be champions. Darby Allen versus Coke Cabana versus Orange Cassidy versus Joey Gisella versus Scorpio Sky versus Keith Sabian versus Chris, Chris uh, Kazarian versus Luke Stars versus. And this is all for your casino ladder match. Winner receiving future AEW World Championship match. Kazarian and Sky start first to enter the first two to enter the match. Every two minutes, someone else will join, but the ship can be grabbed at any time. So the match could end before everyone joins. Both guys go right out, out for the ladder and bring them into the ring. They decide to get it and end up resting his head, which turns into a stable mate, a stalemate. They look for a double stomp. Kazarian moves and moves out of the way. Kazarian runs the ropes and they end up colliding into each other as the clock kicks to zero. Kip Sabian enters the match. Havoc in the ring throws the ladder at both Sky and Kazarian. Havoc helps Sabian out. Puts Kazarian on the top of the turnbuckle. On the top turnbuckle. Puts the ladder on the top turnbuckle. But Kazarian shoves him down on it. Kazarian with a really suplex to get rid of Havoc. Sabian puts the guy on the steel steps. And climbs up a very, very tall ladder. Kazarian putting the ladder up in the middle of the ring. Sabian goes over to pull, pull him down. Kazarian tries to climb up. And gets yanked down. Sabian with a, a high knee. But Sky back in the ring. And drops him. And drops him. Next guy in the match, Darby Allen. All in gets the ring and hits a suicide dive on Sabian. He throws Sky into the barricade, then lands a cutter on Kazarian. All in pulls the barricade closer to the ring and uses it to, bri to bridge a ladder to the apron. All in tries to whip Kazarian into the ladder. He slides under. All in launches his skateboard at Kazarian. He then climbs up the taller ladder, leads off with a skateboard. Kazarian moves out of the way and he crashes through, through the ladder. And Darby Allen risk it all and it backfired tremendously. Or Cassie enters in, in his match next. Cassie you know, is in no rush to get into the match at all. He goes over to commentary and asks how he wins. How he wins the match. They try to explain. He looks annoyed and slowly makes his way back into the ring. He climbs in and reaches up, but is nowhere near the chip. Sky runs in at him. Cassie hops up over him. Kazarian tries and gets tossed out. Cassie finally pushes the ladder up and it just falls over because he doesn't know how to set, set the ladder up, apparently. Cole Cabana was in the, in the match next. Cabana goes into the ring to check out Cassie's progress. Cabana finally shoves him out of the ring and sets up the ladder himself. He climbs up, but Xavier pulls him down a bit. Cabana then gets shoved into the corner. Looks like... The ladder pinched his fingers, and he rolls out of the ring. Cassie ha hands, has his ha hands in his pocket. Hits a, do double, drop, a double drop kick on SCU. Then a suicide dive on the duo. Joey Dillon then enters the ring. He dives off the stage on SCU. Then leaps off, off, off a ladder and takes out Sabian. Then does the same to Havoc. Cabana trying to set up the ladder again. But Janela hits a drop kick off the top rope. Kazarian then jumps out, dumps him out of the ring. Janelle grabs the chair, whacks Frankie in the, in the back. Sky yanks the chair away, smacks Janelle over the back with it. Lucha Torres is, is the next one in the match. Kicks the ladder into Sabian. Big chop to Janelle's chest. Headbutt to, to Cabana. Spinning knee strike to, to, to Sky. Then power bomb Sabian out to the floor on a group of wrestlers. Big kick to Kazarian's head. And then a choke slam on the ladder. Then another one in the middle of the ring. All in on the, on the middle rope. Hits a code red on the Chitaurus. Brian Cage enters the match. This is Brian's debut with AEW. Tags walks, walks in the back as Cage has a twisted F 
five on all in. Cage is, up, is beating up literally everyone in the match. Suplex on Kazarian as he tries to climb up to the top. Cassie climbs on Cage's back, but Cage just walks up the ladder like nobody is there. Multiple wrestlers bring a giant ship over and help pile a bunch of items down on Cage to keep him out, out of the match. At Mr. GMSI underscore B Cage has arrived as a mystery participant in Casino Ladder Match. And oh, uh, let's see. Sabian and Cassie battle on top at the top of the ladder. Cassie grabs Sabian's finger and ends and sends him back in the, in, into another ladder. Ford comes in the ring, tries to stop Cassie. Throws some punches and he blocks both. Then lets her go. She falls back down on Sabian. Happening in the ring, swings away on Cassie. Out comes best friend to help out. Stunt brings out a tiny ladder, but it ends up in Janela's hands, and he uses it as a weapon on people. He then hits the Death Valley driver off the apron, sending Cassie down on the giant poker chip that is covering Brian Cage. And Jan Janela, baby, catches in with the Death Valley driver. And just leave. Luchasaurus knocks both ACU members off the ladder. Everybody is down around the ring. And Cage rises up through all that equipment on him. Cage and Luchasaurus battle. Multiple strikes from each wrestler. Spinning kick to Cage. Chokes him, but Cage flips out and hits a rising knee strike. Cage with a power bomb, sending Luchasaurus into the, in, into the ladder. Cage goes to head up, but all in gets in the ring. Then, then slaps him. Cage with a big, big Larry and a jewel claw on all in. Taz heads back out to ringside and watches on as Cage puts a, a, a ladder along the corner of the ring, then puts all in on top of the ladder. Cage military places the ladder and all in into another ladder on the floor. Cage climbs up and takes the chip for the win. Winner and earning the tie title shot, Brian Cage. Next, we got MJF. We're the Warlord versus Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy uses his agility early on. Drops MJF with a shoulder tackle. MJF to his feet. Jungle Boy sends him right back down. MJF rolls out of the ring for a moment. Both trade pin follow chips. Both to no avail. They get locked up upside down. And slap each other in the face. Jungle Boy continues to swing away. Both on their feet. MJF with a big shot. Jungle Boy with, a, with some shots of his own. MJF runs to the corner. Flips out of it. Falls down. Holding his knee. Ringside position runs in to check on him. Jungle Boy backs up for a minute. MJF gets up. Gets in a cheap shot on his opponent. He's fine. <clears throat> MJF beating up on Jungle Boy. You think you're on my level? You'll never be on my level, MJF yells. Jungle Boy chops down MJF. Jungle Boy selling his left arm. Not using it at all. More chops to MJF chest. Drops MJF. Pin for two count. MJF recovers. Hits a double stomp to Jungle Boy's arm. Looks for a submission. No luck. Jungle Boy asks for a chop. MJF gives it to him. Jungle Boy sends one one back to MJF. Back and forth they go. Chopping each other. MJF eats a, can a Canadian destroyer. MJF with a super kick to the face. It falls down on Jungle Boy for a two, two count. Jungle Boy then tries for a cross face. But he loses his grip because of his arm. MJF bites Jungle Boy's hand. And plants him down to the mat. They both end up on the apron. Jungle Boy lands a kick, then a poison runner on the apron. And he actually can be found in this link at boy underscore myth underscore legend pulling out all the stops. Action. Jungle Boy sends MGF back in the ring. Jungle Boy up top. MGF grabs the ref who was holding the ropes and they shake. Jungle Boy gets crotched up on top. MGF climbs up, takes a headbutt, and then a second rope power bomb for two count. MJF tries to lift Jungle Boy, but can't lift him because of his back. Jungle, Jungle Boy then suplexes for a two count. MJF backsides, pin for a two. MJF trying to get to his salt of the earth submission. Roll up by Jungle Boy for a two count. Both trade pin ball chips while grabbing the tights. MJF with a modified European clutch, pin for the win. Cody Arn Anderson versus Lance Archer with Jake Roberts. Your AEW TNT Championship match. Mike Tyson heads out to ringside with a new TNT Championship. Archer comes out with some poor soul and gets choked him in the middle in the middle of the ring. 
Tati with it. Uh, she was flying. Surprise. Look on her face. LOL. Uh, Cody heads to the ring. Next with, with, with Double A. Dasha, formerly known as Fuentes, announces that each wrestler with Bryce Remsburg holding the title. Remsburg is on the mic to announce the match. He gets it. Gives them an opportunity to shake hands, but that doesn't happen. And Mike Tyson has arrived and is ready to present the hashtag GFG Championship to either at Cody Rhodes or at Lance Hoy. Who takes the win? Archer hits blackout right off the bat. Cody rolls out of the ring to avoid the pin. Commentary announces it. the gold planning to the title is still going to be added. Says the pandemic caused a delay in the finished product. Cody back in the ring. Tried to work Archer's shoulder. Didn't last long. Cody with some punches and chops. But they aren't doing much damage. Archer goes to hit the ropes. And Cody grabs him by, by his hair. Uppercut follows. Cody tries for a springboard cutter. And gets pounced by Archer. Cody immediately out to the floor again for a breather. This time Archer follows out and pulls him. Pulls up some protection padding. Cody circles around into the ring. And lands a suicide dive. Sending Archer over the barricade. Cody tries to leap off the rail. Gets caught by the neck and sent back into the ring, into ringside, crashing down on the floor. This has all been this. This was all been all at last point from the start. At this link, back in the ring, Archer continuing to torture Cody. Archer takes Cody's arm, walks the ropes, hits a moonsault for a two count. Cody back gets back in into this and lands a delayed vertical suplex. Archer rips off the top turn worker pad. Camera quickly catches Mike Tyson, yawning at ringside. Whoops. Meanwhile, Cody pulls Archer against the ring post. Archer back up. Cody ends up getting thrown over the top rope down to the floor. Archer with a big boot to the face. I think I love the ring post. Camera almost as much as Lance Hoyt enjoying, enjoying how much this match has gone. Hashtag AEW on TV. AEW D-O-N. At this thing. Back in the ring, Cody gets planted, covers for a two count. Archer continues to pummel Cody, then yanking on Cody's ear. Archer, though, about to cover, and hits a uh, twisting splash and set. Covers for a two count. Tyson cheering on Cody. Arn gets some advanced advice to Cody on the outside. Archer follows, but takes some strikes. He then throws Cody into the barricade. Archer boots Cody, and it just makes him mad. Forearm to, to Archer. Who looks to be smiling and sends Cody to the floor with a shot of his own. Back inside the back in the ring, Cody with a cross body, uh, a cross face, cross face. Cody wraps Archer's hair around his head. Roberts up on the stage and yelling at Cody. He's asking for a free shot. Archer tries to sneak in, but Cody hits a DDT on Archer and stares down Roberts. Jake is pissed off now. Archer hits a spine buster and then looks over to Double A. This is all out war between at Cody Rhodes. And Lance Hoyt, who will become the first ever TNT champion, Spring War Cutter. Covers one count. Cody throws more shots with some tributes to his dad and brother. Cody tries for a crossroads, hits it, covers for a two count. Cody with a singer splash, but Archer hits a big choke sound. Pin for a two count. Archer with, a, with the claw, slamming Cody's face into, into the mat, but can't follow up with a pin or anything. Archer looks at Walt. The ropes again. Undertaker style. Roberts gets the ref's attention for some reason. Double A knocks Archer's legs out from under him. Cody up top. Hits an avalanche. Reverse suplex. Paul Turner then comes out and says he saw Double A get involved. Tyson is even saying he's, he's go to go. Referee ends up tossing Double A to the back. Roberts is also getting tossed for whatever reason. Back inside the ring, so you got just the two wrestlers. Release German suplex by Archer. Roberts returns with a bag, and Tyson gets it away, taking his shirt off and telling Roberts to get to the back. Tyson flexes on the stage. LOL, uh, flexes on the stage. Archer tries for a blackout. Cody reverses into crossroads. It's another covers for the three count. Winner and TNT champion, Cody Rhodes. After match, Tyson gets in the ring, raises Cody's arm, hands him the title. They shake hands, and Cody raises up. Tyson's arm in celebration. Tyson exits the ring as Cody continues to celebrate. Backstage, we get an injury update on Britt Baker. Apparently, there was a damage to her knee. But he said the patient is worse than the injury. He also said Brett, 
Britt Baker will announce when she's returning on this week's Dynam Wednesday's Dynamite. Tim Penelope Ford with Kip Saban with Chris Statlander. Statlander with a side headlock. Ford, Ford fights out of it. Gets tossed into the ropes and sent down to the mat. Statlander drops Ford and does a bunch of cartwheels. She tries to boop Ford's nose, uh, nose and then gets his finger bite. Bit. Ford with a slap to the face. Statlander gets her boop and tries to to attack, but Ford slides out to the floor. Sabian calls Statlander an alien freak and keeps up, keeps her at bay with his crutch. He's comically tapped for taped up from being in the casino ladder match. Ford hits a draping DDT, covers for a two count. Who do you think he is? Randy Orton, the Viper. Even on a short notice, at call me Chris Stat is putting up a strong fight against P. Ford. And this thing, give me that. Ford continues to beat, beat up on her opponent, lands a few more chops, that ladder with some, some of her own, knocking Ford to the floor. That ladder then hits a big suicide dive, taking out both Sabian and Ford, nearly smashing her own face in the barricade. Back in the ring, Ford with a, a hook kick, cover two count. That ladder lifts and plants Ford to the mat, covers for two count. That ladder goes for the close out. The Ford does her matrix dodge, but each each one the second time around. Ford sat on the top turnbuckle, fights that letter off, goes for the ugly looking Hero Karana, springboard cutter, caught in the middle in midair, blue thunder bomb, big bang theory, big bang theory pile driver, covers with a three count. Winner, my pinfall, Chris Tatletter. Charles Spears heads out to the ring in a suit. He asks where Dustin Rhodes is. Says he's home watching his sights. Dustin Rhodes' music plays. Nobody comes out from the entrance. Spears then says, slowly turns to the camera with a smile. Says he couldn't help it. It's too easy. He asks Edwards to ring the bell and start the match. She says he's, he's not he even here. Spears says to do her job, ring the bell. Count him out. Wins the matter. Spears smiles. Dustin's music plays again. Spears says, play it once again. Idiots. Out comes Brandy Rhodes. From behind is Dustin. That sneaky, perfect 10 in. Dustin Rhodes with Brandy Rhodes versus Sean Spears. Dustin swings away on Spears in the corner. Dustin rips off his, his coat and shirt as he continues to beat up Spears. Dustin with chops in the corner. Spear, but Spears finally lands a close end on his opponent. Rhodes continues to swing away, spinning power sound. And he actually can be found in this link. Second shirt at Dustin Rhodes. Power sound. Uh, he rips Spears' pants off, inverted the chopper chop. Close on Spears, out to the floor. For whatever reason, Tony Blanchard's face is off on the front of Spears' boxer. Rhodes hits the final reckoning. When Spears gets back in the ring for the 1 2 3. Winner by pinfall, Dustin Rhodes. It's an event that started it all. September 5th, advertised all out in this thing. Excalibur. Excalibur pays tribute to Hana Kamara at this point, who passed away at the age of 22. Reminds everyone to be a little nicer to each other. As she committed suicide because she was tired of being bullied on social media. Well, Nana Rosa champion versus Hikaru Shida for your world championship. Women's title. No DQ, no count out. Uh, Rose starts off with a kendo stick. She nearly get, got away, got got away from her, but he's a clothesline. Rose then hits her in the back with a kendo stick. She then gets sent out to the floor. Rose charges in, nobody home. She then with a high knee. Rose pulled out to the edge of the apron. She then with another uh, another knee left. Rose recovers and beats up Sheeta on the floor. Then looks for a table. Sheeta is lifted up and sent down through a poker table at ringside. And now the Rose is going all in. And this thing. Rose gets another chair and jams it into Challenger. Back in the ring, she is sent to the mat. Crossbody splash, pin two count. Rose looks for a beast bomb. She re reverses with a hurricane and then sliding knee strike. Rose with a suplex and then close on it. Sends her opponent out to the floor. She hit her crossbody and a running knee to the back of the head. The car she isn't playing around. And this thing.
Cheetah jumps Rose out to the ringside where the wrestlers are. Rose gets sent into the giant poker chip. Cheetah hip tosses Rose on the big chip. Cheetah runs up with a flying running knee, sending Rose back into another big poker chip. Cheetah has the kendo stick again and smacks Rose in the arm. They head to the head, they head back into the ring. Cheetah with more strikes. With Kendo stick, then suplexes Rose on it for a two count, and that actually we found a this link. Rose with a running power sound. Cheetah draped over the top rope. Now Rose heads up top, hits a flying knee to the back of Cheetah's neck, covers for a two count. Rose brings the table into the ring and sets it up in the corner. Rose power bombs Cheetah into the table, covers for a two count. Death Valley driver on Cheetah. Rose to the top again. Cheetah launches her Kendo stick at Rose. Climbs up. Super Falcon, Super Falcon Arrow covers for a two count. Cheetah looks for a looks for a kick. Kendo stick to, to the leg. Running knee strike covers for a one two. Did not get the three. Rose takes another big Kendo stick shot. Cheetah with a running knee to the face covers and new champion Hikaru Cheetah by pinfall. And you got John Moxley versus Brody Lee for your AEW World Championship. Security was in the ring to help. Keep two wrestlers separate as Joshua introduces Lee and Moxley. The two off to a face start. Lee strikes, goes for a big boot. Nobody home as he falls out to the floor. Moxley throws Lee into a barricade and it breaks. He goes down to the floor. Lee back up and two bucks Moxley on the floor. More chops as Lee tries to intimidate some of the wrestlers, which can be found in this link as Mr. At this Brody Lee takes the show. Back in the ring, Lee with a, a couple suplexes on the champ. Moxie out to the floor. Lee with a suicide dive. Sending Moxie through, through the hole that Lee created earlier. Lee puts the barricade up on one of the rails. The two swing away on each other. Moxie gets suplexed into the barricade. Back in the ring, they trade shots at each other. Suplex on Moxie. Uh, Moxie. Lee charges in. Back elbow. And they take a lariat from Moxie. Got style power driver on Lee. Covers for a two count. Moxie sets up the ring steps. Runs at Lee and gets caught with a drop kick. Lee does big swells, flex, pose, and she yells at him to not steal her moves. Moxie and Lee up on the steel steps and Moxie back drop, body drops Lee down to a table. And actually we found this thing. We knew that this was going to be a fight. Both men are out to prove a point. Uh, Moxie leaves off the apron, caught and suplexed into some giant playing cards, part of the seal setup, uh, part of the stage setup. Lee sees Moxie's face on the card and stomps on it. He then suplexes Moxie on the card. Brody Sex Chant breaks out from the crowd. Oppressors. Uh, referee looking over at ringside and the ringside position, but weighs him off. Moxie calls his way back in the ring, and Lee stands a, lands a big boot. Sit down power bomb for a very close very close count through the table at this link action. Moxie pulls himself back up, falls right back down, climbs up to the stage area. Moxley throws a poker chip at, at Lee's head. Lee with a kick to the, to the midsection, tries for a power bomb. Moxie hits a paradise shift. And the two go crashing through the stage. Referee checking on both wrestlers. He calls in the doctor. Others come, come, come coming out now. But well, Moxley emerges from the hole and into the ring. Lee is now up and he's being busted open. Paradise shift through the entrance ramp. He looks to looks for the discus leg. Moxley with a paradise shift again. One count. Moxley with huge elbows and knees. Lands another paradigm shift, covers just a two count. Moxie is just trying to choke out Lee with a real naked choke. Lee is fading. Referee checks on him and calls for the bell. Winner and winner by stoppage, John Moxie. Match is heard loud and clear. Uh, John Moxie, hashtag AEWDON. And this thing. Well, they also had something else going on. Relive magic moments. Create your own. All your favorite AEW athletes in life like 
detail in their signature ring wear and accessories. At AEW Unrivaled collection will be available in August 2020 at this link. AEW, the AEW Unrivaled Action Figures collection will hit the stores in August. Okay, and your last match. The Elite, Kenny Omega, Hangman, Hangman Page, Young Bucks, Matt Hardy, versus Inner Circle, Chris Jericho, Jake Hager, Chagla Guevara, Santana and Ortiz, Stadium Stampede match. This was taped at the TIAA field. Bank with a ring at the 50 yard line. Falls count anywhere and no DQ match. Each team is introduced by Justin Roberts. Coming out like a football players typically do with jerseys. On the Jacksonville Jaguars, cheerleaders are out as well. Some Inner Circle members have helmets on for their interest. Matt Jackson has banged up ribs uh, from the, this past Wednesday's Dynamite. Page is introduced, but he doesn't immediately show up. Four referees will be involved in the match. Both teams run at each other and swinging away with random weapons. One, uh, Omega running running with a broom. Gobert gets dropped, and he turns around slowly, only to see Hangman Page on a horse. He ends up chasing Rivera right off the field. Page looking around for Sammy while everyone else battles on the field. Nick and Jericho actually do some wrestling inside, inside the ring. Saddle up at the Adam Page. Run, Sammy, run. This ain't, uh, this ain't run for his run. From Forrest Gump movie. And the action can be sounded that late. Jericho tried to effect. Matt gets involved in Help kick Jericho out of the ring. Santana and Ortiz fight Matt, Matt and Nick. Matt sent out of the ring. Matt Jackson, that is. Nick gets planted and Santana hits an assist, assistant flip. Omega with a snap jacket on, on Ortiz. Snap jacket on Santana. Hager with a big slam to Omega. Hardy drops Hager. Jericho with a code breaker on Hardy. Rivera found his way back on the field and kicks Nick in a circle and the cheerleader chant Sammy. Rivera with a shooting star press, but nobody home. In a circle sent out of the ring, and Sammy gets attacked by from everyone on the other team. Action will be found on this thing, as Matt Jackson, and Matt Jackson, 13 says, split, uh, uh, split the uprights. Everybody takes some big dives out on the pile. Rivera with a shooting star press, knocking out some of his own guys. Jericho sends Nick into the goalpost. Matt busts out a tall ladder near the goalpost and climbs up. He makes his way to the middle of the goalpost, hits a moonsault on Guevara. Jericho and Nick cover on Jericho, two count. The wrestlers are making their way up into the stands as Santana and Ortiz beat up Omega. Page still on his horse, looking around for Guevara still. Page finally gets off his horse and heads to the, heads to the bar. Santana and Ortiz smacking him with loaded socks. Omega is getting the same treatment now. Actually, we found this thing at Santana underscore proud and Ortiz powerful taking out Kenny. Omega gets du double power bomb through, through, through two barricades down to the concrete floor. Cover, Hardy breaks up the pinfall. Using a loaded sock, Santana be beats up Hardy some more. Then he and Ortiz send him face first into, into, into the pool. Santana jumps in to beat up Hardy. Ortiz says he can't swim. It's only three three feet of water. They then attempt to drown him. Version of version one, Matt Hardy emerges. They do it again. Old school Matt Hardy facts overlay appears, and another version of Matt Hardy comes up from the water. He finally looks to take be taken out, but uh, pops broken Hardy, and he sends the two back into the water. Ortiz climbs out, and Hardy says he must pay for what happened to Vanguard One. Action can be found in this thing again. And, uh, did at Santa Santana underscore proud and Ortiz underscore powerful. And at Matt Hardy, just visit the pool of reincarnation. Remember from Impact Wrestling? Uh, Ortiz put on the table. Santana charges and Hardy gets back. Body drop on Ortiz to, to the table. Ortiz brought under the, under the belt and Hardy rings it. Ortiz trembles in pain as Hardy brings the wheelchair up. Sets Ortiz in it and and takes him down. Hardy then sends Santana into an ice machine, then locks it. 
uh, with a broom. Hager walking the hall, halls looking for Paige. He comes up on Paige's horse, then then see the bar sign and makes a beeline for it. Paige sitting at the bar having a drink. Hager walks up, sits next, sits next to him. Paige asks if Hager can take the fight or drink. Hager ends up drinking. Paige just starts swinging it on him. Hager with some big knees and launches Paige over a pool table. Paige gets a pool stick and cracks it over Hager's back. Didn't, didn't do a thing. Actually, this thing. And it says, we're close. Hager tries to send him over the bar. Flips. Paige flips, flips, flips off the bar. Tries to leap off the pool table. Caught in midair. Gets planted hard on the pool table. Paige put on the bar. Hager ran Paige through everything that was on the bar. Hager with a great wrench power bomb through a table. Attempts to cover. Two count. Omega sh shows up the bar. And smashes the bottle over Hager's head. Does nothing. Paige and Omega crack, crack a bunch of bottles over Hager's head. He stumbles around. Omega with a V-trigger. Heyman with a buckshot lariat. And using Omega's back as a, a jump off. Paige in pours Omega a glass of milk. Omega pours Paige some, some whiskey. Back on the field, Matt's fighting Gorvera and is trying to give him Northern Light Suplex across the entire field. Action this thing. Don't step to at I am Jericho. Jericho gets a microphone and tells Nick he should have him stay home. Who does he think he is? Jimmy the Mouth of the South? Mouth, mouth of the South? Heart. Nick kicks him and smacks him on the microphone. Then a bunch of footballs. Jericho sends Nick into the mouth of a jaguar pop, a prop. The mascot shows up and taunts Jericho, but gets dropped for the due to smack. Nick super kicks Jericho into the kicker practice set, uh, netting. Jericho with a, a bat in hand. Who's the thing he is? Staying from NWO. Smacks Nick, Nick in the face. Covers. Nick kicks out. Jericho challenges, challenges, challenges the pin. He thought it was three. Edward says fine. It goes into the into review into the review tent. Jericho follows her in. She says, "The call stands. It's two. Your s referee." Jericho yells. Matt apparently goes the length of the field. Spikes over his head into the field. Matt does Alex Wright's taunt. Dodge wonder kid. And Rick Knox gives him a penalty. Matt uh, Matt super kicks Rick. Jericho with his bat in hand. Smacks Nick. Gets he then puts Nick on, on the table, but Matt makes a save. Jericho put on the table. Nick runs up the stands and then runs all over all the way back down. Hits cross by cross body down on Jericho. Oh, and Sammy Guevara. And at this lane. Paige uh, shows up with some line marker and runs directly over Jericho's body. Govera trying to climb his way back into the action and a field sprinkler sprays the heck out of him. Govera thinks he won because he's the last one standing. Back from the back is Matt and Kenny in the same cart that struck Sammy a few weeks back. Matt chases him down and Sammy runs away and Bryce Rensburg tries to keep up. Sammy makes the leap leap up into the stands. Omega and Matt follow. Sammy throwing chairs and running all the way up into the stands. The elite surround him. He tries to choke out Hardy. Neo one appears. Hardy's new drone for the quick distraction. Omega with a V-trigger. One wing angle on Guevara all the way down through a huge wooden structure. Whoa! Omega with a pin for the one, two, three. Winner, the elite by pinfall. The elite celebration, Gatorade bath for Omega. Team celebrates as fireworks go off in the background. A few AEW stars had a rough night of action from the AEW Dynamite with Phoenix, Britt Baker, and Matt Jackson all getting banged up. Phoenix defeated Orange Cassidy last night, but afterwards a brawl broke out around the ring. Phoenix did a twisting senton on a group of wrestlers, but only clipped the group of, group of his feet with nobody catching him. Phoenix landed hard on the floor on his back hip. And you, there was, I did not get a video of it, but it was it happened at three minute mark. 
F4W online report that Phoenix was hurting from, from the spot, but should be set for a casino ladder match on Saturdays. Uh, never mind. That was a report from on that. Also, the Young Bucks, Hangman Page, made their return to AEW Dynamite. After being away, coronavirus pandemic. And at the end of the show, a brawl broke out between the Elite and Inner Circle. Around the field, that will battle on the Stadium Stampede match. I think of this was also on that one. They did dual cross-body attacks off the stands on Santana and Ortiz. Apparently, Matt injured himself on the move. Report says either either had broken ribs or torn cartilage or a bad bruise. Matt was able to finish out the segment. And as of right now, still scheduled for the match. And you just heard the results. And that, the, that will close out my video for this week, uh, for the results of that paper, the pay-per-view. Thanks, you. Peace out. See you on the video. If you don't know, just comment, brothers and sisters.